Good evening, Skyhawk Nation, Skyhawk students, Skyhawk parents. This is Mr. Shelton, your friendly neighborhood principal. And I'm coming to you tonight on a night that really is one of my favorites uh, that I get to experience as the Johnsburg High School principal, and that's our academic honors night. Tonight we have an opportunity to recognize students for their achievements. And for seniors that are being recognized, we get to celebrate their, their efforts their investment of time, as well as uh, the achievements that they've encountered as they move on to the next chapter in their lives after Johnsburg High School. It's also an incredible opportunity for, for me to reach out and say thank you firsthand to families and parents. It's one of those things where the most important investment that I've seen people make over the many years that I've, I've been in education is the investment of time. And when you look at students' success, uh, one, it comes from their investment of time, but two, you know, I've, I've had a front row seat to see the amazing uh, advocacy and investment that parents and families have made to help along the way. So this is really, truly an amazing celebration tonight to, to recognize students, but also, you know, the last 18 years, not just the last four years at Johnsburg High School, but the last 18 years uh, of your lives, parents and families have been have been uh, part of this mix, and so I just want to say thanks. It's it's just such an amazing thing every year to experience this night, and a huge thank you to Kim Alt, Tom Harm, Cheryl Leonardi for organizing, and for Anna Zeno for her technical expertise at putting this video together, so that we can experience uh, this celebration tonight of our students. So. Thank you again to our students. Thank you again to our parents. Uh, and without further ado, let's get into our program for this evening. So the first awards I get to present tonight are the Those Who Excel Awards. Now these awards are given to students who are one year removed from Johnsburg High School. And teachers nominate them not only for being a good student, not only for being maybe a good athlete uh, or being a good leader. It goes beyond that. It goes to the fact that the teachers feel that a particular student or students have left not only a positive legacy, but uh, that legacy being of a positive change agent, really somebody whose presence still resounds through the hallways of Johnsburg High School even after they're gone. So the first award winner for that tonight is Miranda Hopp. Now Miranda is somebody that I got a chance to know um, of her firsthand when she did a patriotism essay reading for the American Legion when she was in the lower grade levels in the Johnsburg School District. Little did I know how much I would be seeing Miranda in a variety of roles up at Johnsburg High School. If there was a extracurricular scenario, she was either involved directly and doing it very well, or she was there supporting her fellow Skyhawks. Uh, it was absolutely amazing to see everything she was involved with from student government um, to our uh, National Honor Society, to our bowling team, to cheerleading, to our musical, to the academic bowl team, and the list goes on and on and on. And again, it's one thing to be involved, it's another to be involved in such a successful manner. And so we really want to congratulate Miranda on being someone that not only is well deserving of this award, um, but again, just somebody that I will always remember as somebody that I saw in various roles, just really doing a, a ton of positive things for uh, not only the teams that she was on, but Skyhawk Nation as a whole. So Miranda, really congratulations and thank you again for everything you did while you were at Johnsburg High School. Our next Those Who Excel Award winner is Carson Nuzo. Now, Carson, just with her academics, was absolutely spectacular throughout her four years uh, at Johnsburg High School and may have well been deserving of, of this award on those merits alone. But you really look at all the different things she did to help serve others, whether it was on the various extracurriculars that she was involved with here at Johnsburg High School, whether it was being a tutor at Mathnasium and helping uh, younger students get through their math struggles, whether it was coaching volleyball for a local club volleyball team, uh, or even her senior year when she really had to uh, put herself almost in the role of, 
of being a co-teacher for her AP stats class, uh, I had the opportunity to talk with her multiple times uh, during that second semester when uh, she needed to kind of place herself in that role to help the rest of her class get through a really challenging time. It was one of those scenarios where you already have an immense amount of respect for a student and then you it just grows even more. So um, Carson, for all of your success academically as well as your involvement in so many extracurriculars as well as just your servant leadership, your teachers and administration really feel that uh, you are very well deserving of, of this award, and I wanted to congratulate you on being another Those Who Excel Award winner at Johnsburg High School. Congratulations, Carson. And our final Those Who Excel Award winner tonight is Danny Nelson. Now, Danny is someone who, when you talk with teachers and coaches and administration and fellow students, uh, different words seem to be commonly used, compassionate, driven, uh, always just made things better by being involved. She was a CARES member. She was uh, involved with cheerleading and just the, the various aspects that she brought to every situation that she was involved with uh, seemed to resonate just across the board with, with teachers, administrators, and students. Uh, she's someone who always had a smile for everyone she met. Uh, she was also uh, an IPA Leadership Award winner and really just again, during her four years at Johnsburg High School, made it a much better place to be for everybody. So, Danny, I want to thank you again for your efforts at Johnsburg High School. Thanks for your servant leadership in all you did to make that lasting positive impact. And uh, really proud of you and excited that you're getting this Those Who Excel Award tonight. So congratulations. The next awards I get to present tonight are for our Lake County Tech students who were chosen as students of the year in their particular programs. Now we've got a, a variety of scenarios that students can take over at Lake County Tech and kudos to the following students not only for taking these classes uh, but for showing excellence in them and representing themselves as well as uh, Skyhawk Nation in such an incredibly positive way. Uh, so first of all Blake Radke was the Tech Campus Student of the Year in Emergency Medical Services. Congratulations Blake who was also a finalist for their Student of the Year overall. We had Abigail Lopez for Law Enforcement and Crime Scene Investigation. Uh, we had Haley Preves for Medical Assisting. And then we also had Megan Dunn for Multimedia Design. So congratulations to those students for their achievements. Absolutely amazing, very proud of you. And once again, a job well done. Another award I get to present tonight is the Illinois Principals Association Leadership Award. And every year we get to nominate two students for this award for our Kishwaukee region. And there were two ladies that stood out uh, this year in their service to others, uh, as well as over their four years of um, active service at Johnsburg High School. They've done a variety of things. Uh, the most recent and the most impactful for me was their role active role in our student advisory committee, uh, their willingness to look for creative solutions, their ability to um, serve others in that capacity, as well as the various things they do throughout the community as well. So want to recognize Shannon Flynn and Maddie Buchanan for their efforts uh, in achieving this award. And thank you again for everything you did while you were at Johnsburg High School. Congratulations, ladies. The last award I get to present tonight is for perfect attendance. And this is one of those scenarios that is pretty rare uh, in any particular year. But when you look at someone's performance throughout their entire school career, uh, that's a different story. But we have a student who was able to do that throughout their entire school career. And that is Haley Schmidt. So Haley, thank you again for uh, your dedication to making that work. That is not uh, something that is easily done. And uh, we greatly appreciate your efforts in coming to Johnsburg High School, as well as throughout your years in Johnsburg School District for this award. And just again, appreciate the dedication and determination that it took to make that happen. So congratulations on, on, on an absolutely incredible scenario. Well done. Congratulations to the top 10% of the senior class. This year's top 10% includes Camille Alexata, 
Hannah Anderson, Michaela Huff, Megan Dunn, Caitlin Owen, Samantha Schmidt, Hayden Hess, Bree Allhoff, Madison Karamajanis, Carissa Clark, Sarah Metzi, Sheridan Maluski, Aaron Foz, and Camden Barger. Congratulations to the top 10% of the Johnsburg High School Junior Class. Those students include Samantha Layton, Megan Patterson, Lucas Toussaint, Elizabeth Johnson, Allie Majersik, Sylvia Dunn, Anthony Doherty, Zachary Johnson, Ashley Ahrens, Jessica Kramer, Taylor Smith, Samuel Jones, Jaya Katkuten, and Nathaniel Billig. Congratulations. Congratulations to this year's Johnsburg High School sophomore class top 10%. Those students this year are May Macy, Haley Barrick, Haley Wojcik, Carissa Ray, Thomas Effling, Owen Harker, Jillian Popovich, Jacob Gebbis, Rachel Preves, Addison Mass, Julia Piles, Forrest Hall, Trinity Nett, James Countess, and Brooklyn Gosnell. Congratulations to this year's freshmen in the top 10% of their class. The top 10% this year includes Kira Sherman, Joshua Owen, Madeline Malador, Adelaide Germain, Jolene Cashmore, Lana Bowers, Sedona Zapaniak, Miranda Mulis, Chandler Mendelik, Riley Klotz, Bradley Foz, Nicholas Lepresti, Jaden Spears, Jacob Schmidt, Matthew Casella, Alexandra Donka, Ali Dercoli, Danya Hiller, Michael Link, and Zachary Owen. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Tom Harum, and I'm here to present four awards to very deserving JHS students. The first award is the Rotary Youth Leadership Award. Eight students were chosen by JHS staff based on their leadership abilities to attend the Riley Conference in East Troy, Wisconsin, sponsored by McHenry Sunrise Rotary. At the fall conference, Bella Garlinger and Megan Dunn learned how to enhance their already outstanding leadership skills. Josie Schultz, Jackson Back, Carissa Ray, Melanie Lavanderos, Forrest Hull, and Savannah Prouty were to attend the spring conference. Unfortunately, it was canceled, but the underclassmen will be invited to attend next year. The next award I would like to announce is the Northern Illinois Leadership Award. Every year, JHS staff selects one sophomore to attend the Northern Illinois Leadership Seminar in June at North Park University in Chicago. Criteria for selection include proven leadership ability, leadership potential, community service participation, open-mindedness, and a desire to learn. This year, I am pleased to announce that our representative is Tommy Effling. The next two students to be recognized will be representing Johnsburg High School at the Leadership Greater McHenry County Youth Program. Leadership Greater McHenry County offers a youth community leadership program to area sophomores and juniors. It provides an opportunity to enhance community awareness and knowledge while being mentored by very successful McHenry County leaders. It is intended to empower and motivate students to become involved and committed to our community. This year's JHS representative was Ashley Ahrens, and next year's representative will be Mae Macy. The last award I'd like to present is the winner of the Hugh O'Brien Award. Every year, JHS staff selects one sophomore to attend the three-day Hugh O'Brien Youth Leadership Seminar in June. This year, the conference will be held virtually. Criteria for selection include initiative, demonstrated leadership ability, and service. Thank you to CARES for covering the cost of this seminar. This year, I am pleased to announce that our representative is May Macy. Hi, I'm Terry Schramick, and I'm the advisor of Johnsburg DECA. DECA is a business club that in a normal year competes at the local, state, and international level. Competitors compete in testing, role plays, and prepare a written event that they present to a judge. This year, due to our unique situation, both our state and international competitions were canceled. We did, however, experience success at the local competition on January 31st in Rosemont, Illinois. Students competed in a test of their chosen category and performed one or two role plays in front of a judge. 
They are given the role play 15 minutes prior to their presentations and they have to develop a plan during that time before they bring it in front of the judge. Medalists this year include Zach Johnson, received a first place medal for his cluster exam in the sports and entertainment marketing category. Tommy Ethling received a second place medal in a role play and second place overall in principles of marketing. Jaden Anderson received a third place medal for her cluster exam in the entrepreneurship event and also a second place medal for one of her role plays. Brie Alahoff and Michaela Huff prepared the team entrepreneurship event and they received a first place for their role play, a second place overall for the event, and in addition, Brie brought home a third place medal for her cluster exam. This made Brie our most decorated DECA athlete of the day. The three senior girls, Brie, Jaden, and Michaela, also received the IFME Honor Award that is bestowed upon seniors for their academic talent and their participation in school and outside of school events throughout their high school career. Other DECA participants this year included Jesse Kramer, Caleb DeLord, Owen Harker, Peter Link, and Michael Preston. Thank you. Hello, my name is Judy Kruger. As one of two CARES advisors, I will be presenting the awards for CARES Student Council. This year, I'd like to recognize um, our officers for CARES, the president, was Madison Kermaginas, Vice President Shannon Flynn, Secretary Ashley Ahrens, Treasurer Brianna Alaha, Parliamentarian Lucas Toussaint, Historian Jaden Anderson, Public Relations Officer Michaela Huff. They've all done a phenomenal job. They've continued activities through the remote learning time and I just have enjoyed working with them greatly. Our outstanding CARES member of the year this year is also our president elect for next year. Congratulations, Ashley Ahrens. This year we will be giving four scholarships away. The first one goes to Madison Kermaginas for $600. The second one is Shannon Flynn and Michaela Huff for $225 and Brianna Alehoff for $200. Congratulations. The Versity Donor, of the Lo Donor for Life Leadership Program also offers us or gives CARES money for the blood drives that we hold. This year we will be awarding four blood drives scholarships, and they will go to $400 to Madison Kermaginas, and $200 to Sarah Metzi, Jaden Anderson, and Megan Dunn. Thank you so much for all of your hard work that you have put into holding blood drives at Johnsburg High School. Finally, we give Red Cord Awards that are given from Versity, and it's called the Leadership Donor for Life Leadership Program. These red cords go to this year, anyone who has given three pints of blood over their four years, or if they volunteered and organized blood drives, recruited members, or held a blood drive on their own somewhere. The recipients of the red cords are Jaden Anderson, Franco Battaglia, Christopher Denny, Aaron Dickinson, Ariah Dolan, Megan Dunn, Robert Fallon, Shannon Flynn, Aaron Foss, David Granz, Hayden Haas, Michaela Huff, Madison Kermaginas, Caitlin Merritt, Sarah Metzi, Caitlin Owen, Robert Rahat, Blake Radke, Harley St. Clair, Elizabeth Stern, 
Nathan Weber, and Christina Winter. Congratulations to our Red Cord winners. Hello, my name is Kim Alt. I'm one of the counselors at the high school. I am here to present three different awards tonight. The first one is the Illinois State Scholar Award. Um, this Illinois State Scholar Award is given by the Illinois Student Assistance Commission, and it's given to seniors that are in the top 10% of seniors in the state. So that is out of 765 high schools. Our Illinois State Scholars this year is Camille Alexady, Brianna Alahoff, Hannah Anderson, Carissa Clark, Megan Dunn, Aaron Foz, Hayden Hess, Michaela Huff, Madison Karamajanis, Jessica Morin, and Samantha Schmidt. So congratulations, you guys. The next award I'm giving tonight is the ACT and SAT score recognition. Now the ACT is based on a scale of 1 to 36, and the SAT is on a scale of up to 1600. So these students either scored a 1360 on the SAT or a 30 or higher on the ACT. Our students are Camille Alexady, Brianna Alahoff, Carissa Clark, Aaron Foz, Cole Hansen, and Hayden Hess. So congratulations, you guys. Um, the last award I'm giving is the National Merit Commended Student. Um, these are students that took the PSAT back in October and they scored in the 99th percentile um, of all juniors that took the PSAT. So our commended National Merit students our commended students are Zachary Johnson and Samantha Layton. So congratulations, you guys. Hi, everybody. My name is Samantha Walkage, and it is my honor to be here today to award the Gerald T. Walkage Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Johnsburg Old Timers Club. The club was created 44 years ago when a group of local businessmen wanted to promote baseball throughout the Johnsburg area. This past year, the organization celebrated 44 years. In 1979, two years after the club was created, the organization had raised enough money to give away their first scholarship in the amount of $250. The scholarship is honoring a graduating senior at Johnsburg High School who has play, played in varsity baseball. Now, 44 years later, the organization has donated over $100,000 to sports and local organizations and is now giving away a $4,000 scholarship. The Gerald T. Wachacha Scholarship Award is named after the founder, first president, and my great-grandfather, and it is my honor today to announce this year's winner. After completing the interview, the committee thought that all the boys were very good and they struggled to pick the winner. In addition to the $4,000 scholarship to one of these well-deserving young men, they decided that they were going to give him away an additional $500 scholarship. At this time, it is my pleasure to present the 2020 Gerald T. Walkage Memorial Scholarship on behalf of the Johnsburg Old Timers Club to Aaron Foch. Another congrats to Joy Comstock on winning the additional one-time award. Congratulations, boys. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been my great privilege to teach in Johnsburg for 27 years. My name is Laura Myers. It's always been my clear vision to be a teacher, and I was inspired by my grandmother, for whom this scholarship is named, and also with the support of my mother, Jean Johnson. Hi, I'm so happy to be here to award this $2,000 scholarship to in honor of my mother, who was a consummate teacher for 43 years. Um, one of the reasons I'm giving this scholarship to someone from Johnsburg is because of Laura and because of her grandchildren who have gone here. So at this time, it gives me great pleasure to award this scholarship to Shannon Flynn. Congratulations, Shannon. <laughs> Woo! The Mueller Scholarship was established to recognize and reward a young person who has persevered past a significant event or trauma in their lives and to honor the teachers and administrators at Johnsburg High School who have helped these young people achieve their dreams. 
We are happy to award the 2020 Mueller Scholarship to Carissa Clark. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Tucson. I'm the head boys basketball coach at Johnsburg High School. Um, first of all, I want to congratulate all the 2020 graduates. Uh, these are crazy, crazy times. I, I can only imagine uh, what you're going through and, and what this senior year has been like for you. Um, but always remember that your circumstances don't define you. You define your circumstances. I'm here tonight uh, to present the first ever Little Dribblers Scholarship for $500. Uh, it's gonna be awarded to a senior basketball player who not only participated in Little Dribblers, but also coached in the Little Dribblers program. I started the Little Dribblers program in Johnsburg 20 years ago. Uh, it's a unique program in that the varsity boys and varsity girls coach in the program and they select their own teams, they run their own practices, and they you know, coach their teams during games. Uh, the student athletes volunteer their time on Saturday mornings throughout their uh, their seasons in the winter um, with all the registration money benefiting their programs um, to help them buy equipment and uniforms uh, and stuff like that. Over the last 20 years, the Little Dribblers program has seen over 3,000 participants come through it. It's raised thousands of dollars for the boys and girls basketball programs. Um, and I thought this would be a great opportunity for the program to pay it forward uh, by, by starting up this scholarship. Uh, candidates were asked to put together an essay explaining what life lessons they learned through the Little Dribblers program, both as a participant and as a coach. Um, put together a committee of seven coaches, former coaches and former Little Dribbler participants uh, to read through several essays. Um, and there were a lot of great entries, a lot of great entries. Uh, but after getting all of their input, um, one of them stood out with everybody. And once we submitted that, that selection and found out who that candidate was, I couldn't agree more. Uh, this girl, was a great coach. She put the, she had a great essay, but she was a great coach in the Little Dribblers program. I'm gonna miss her next year. Um, her players loved her. She loved her players um, and always gave it her all every week. Um, we're really gonna miss her next year. Um, but I'm really, really happy uh, to announce that the first ever Little Dribblers Scholarship this year goes to Lauren Hendrickson. Lauren, congratulations. All the best to you, uh, really proud of you, and it couldn't have gone to a better person. Thank you. Hello there to the graduating class of Johnsburg High School 2020. I'm Joe Heeman. I'm representing the Johnsburg Community Club, the Joseph Frett Memorial Scholarship, and the Frett family in awarding two scholarships tonight to graduating seniors from Johnsburg High School. Joseph Frett was a descendant of the early founders of Johnsburg. He was born in 1900. He was a local businessman. He kept Johnsburg in mind. He was a political figure in town and, and once again, a member of the Johnsburg Community Club. Tonight's scholarships will be one for $2,500 and one for $1,000. With that said, I'd like to do the one-time $1,000 scholarship will go to Michaela Huff. The second scholarship, a $2,500 scholarship will go to Megan Dunn. Congratulations, ladies, on your hard work through your high school career. Good luck to all the Johnsburg graduates. What goes next in their lives, it be it school or work or military, and we hope that you always keep Johnsburg in your mind. Thank you, good luck, and have a good day. Hello, my name is Stephanie Petska, and I will be awarding the Heart of Gold Charity Medical Scholarship. Heart of Gold Charity was established in 2006 in honor of our son, Braden, who was born with a severe heart defect. Because of the medical advancement, Braden thrived for two and a half years before passing unexpectedly in 2009. The mission and hope of Heart of Gold Charity is to facilitate the future of medicine by awarding and inspiring young individuals to continue to pave the path of medicine and to give families like us hope and a lifetime of memories like the ones we were able to create with Braden in his short little life. To date, Heart of Gold Charity has been able to award 72 medical scholarships, including 13 here at Johnsburg High School. 
Today, we are proud and honored to award this year's $1,000 medical scholarship to Hannah Jo Anderson. Congratulations, Hannah. Hi, I'm Dr. Rachel Northern. I'm a family wellness chiropractor here in Johnsburg, and I'm representing Johnsburg Area Business Association. And the scholarship we have to offer is the Roger Liston Memorial Scholarship. And we honor a student that shows community service and wants to give back to the community and involved in the community, likes to help others, just as Roger Liston, one of our founding members of Johnsburg Area Business Association. And we want to present this award to Shannon Flynn. So thank you for your dedication to the community and we look forward to seeing what bright future you have. Good afternoon. My name is Staff Sergeant Matthew Pollan. I'm the Marine Corps recruiter for Johnsburg High School. On behalf of Major Robert Stevenson, Commanding Officer, Recruiting Station, Chicago, I would like to thank the faculty, parents, and students for allowing the Marine Corps to participate in this year's award ceremony. Uh, it is my sincere hope that the graduating class of 2020 continues to push and educate yourselves and good luck on all your future endeavors. Today I'm going to be presenting six awards in three categories. The first awards that I'm going to be presenting is going to be for the Scholastic Excellence Award. Scholastic Excellence Award is given to the noteworthy students who are both a leader academically and amongst their peers as well. The first award is going to go to Hayden Hess. And the female award is going to go to Camille Alex Saiti. I apologize if I messed up your name. The next award that we're going to give out is going to be the Distinguished Athlete Award. This award was established by the Marine Corps in 1958. It is dedicated to the memory of Lieutenant Colonel Dowd, United States Marine Corps Commanding. He established the Youth Awareness Physical Fitness Program while on recruiting duty in New York City. The program received national recognition from the President's Council on Physical Fitness in 1963 and continues to be endorsed by the President's Council today. The two seniors receiving the award this year is going to be Justin Peak and Shannon Flynn. The last award that I'm going to be giving out is going to be the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence. Since 1967, the United States Marine Youth Foundation has given awards to students musicians who excel not only as a musician, but also as a student. This year's recipients of the Semper Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence is gonna to go to Shane Bonney and Hannah Dietrich. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020 and good luck in all your future. My name is Scott Lee Sandis and I will be presenting Lauren Hendrickson, Camden Barger, and Maria Lavanderos. Lauren will be attending Illinois State University in the fall where she will be majoring in elementary education. Lauren received a total amount of $5,600 to put towards her education at ISU. Felicidades, Lauren. Camden will be attending McHenry County College in the fall where she will be majoring in criminal justice. Camden received a total amount of $5,500 from MCC to put towards her education. Felicidades, Cammie. Maria will be attending Augustana College in the fall, where she will be majoring in Communication Science and Disorders. Maria received a total amount of $30,000 from Augustana to put towards her education. In addition, Maria also received the Robert N. and Georgina M. Beck Scholarship for $12,000. She also received the Eva E. McGinnis Scholarship for $2,250 for her academics and extracurriculars. Felicidades, Maria. Lauren, Cami, y Maria, estoy muy orgullosa de ustedes y buena suerte con la universidad. My name is Alicia Sheedlow, and I'm a Spanish teacher here at the high school. And I have been given the privilege of announcing the awards to Christina Winter. Christina is an early grad this year who has been accepted to Bradley University. Christina will be pursuing her studies and careers in criminal justice. And for all of her hard work and dedication, she has been awarded a total of $62,000 from Bradley University. Christina, we wish you the best of luck in your pursuit of this career. Enhorabuena, felicitaciones, y buena suerte con todo. Gracias. 
Hi, I'm Raquel Ness and I teach English at Johnsburg High School. Tonight I have the privilege of announcing Jaden Anderson, who will be attending the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee this fall. She will be majoring in marketing and receiving a minor in Spanish. University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee has awarded her $34,000 in scholarships. Congratulations, Jaden. Hi, I'm Terry Schramick and I'm the business teacher here at the high school. I have the privilege of announcing academic award information for three amazing Lady Skyhawks. The first, Michaela Ha, will be attending Illinois State University and majoring in elementary education. Total scholarship money she is receiving from ISU is $36,000. In addition, she is receiving the Eva E. McInnes four-year scholarship for $2,250 and $1,500 from the McHenry County Retired Teachers Association. She's going to do amazing things and I cannot wait to see what her future holds. The second student is Mackenzie McAttack Strahlen. She is attending Concordia University in Chicago and at the moment her major is undecided, but a little birdie tells me she's very talented in accounting. She's going to be playing basketball at Concordia and will be tearing it up there as much as she did here in Johnsburg. And she has been awarded $111,056 in scholarship money from Concordia. Haley with 2Y Schmidt is going to be attending the University of Missouri, majoring in strategic communications. She has received a total of $40,000 in scholarship money from Mizzou. She is going to be phenomenal in her career choice. Good luck to all of these ladies. Hello, my name is Judy Kruger, and I am the art teacher and student council advisor here at Johnsburg High School. I would like to introduce two awesome seniors. The first one is Megan Dunn. And if you might have been wondering what this drawing behind me is, is one of Megan's award-winning drawings. She has had many. Megan is an awesome art student. Megan will be attending the University of Wisconsin Stout in the fall, and she will be majoring in graphic design. The total amount of scholarships that she has received from UW Stout total $6,000. She is also the award winner of the Johnsburg Educational Partnership Foundation, Dr. Rob Goff Scholarship, which is $1,000. It is awarded to someone who has done um, a lot of volunteer work, community service, and is, does very well academically all of which fit Megan wonderfully. Megan also won this year the DAR Constitution Day poster contest and won $250 for that. She is also the recipient of the Woodstock Fine Arts Scholarship for $1,000. This scholarship is given out by the Woodstock Fine Arts Association and is awarded to graduating high school seniors recognizing their abilities in performing, visual, and literary arts. Congratulations, Megan. The next recipient is Madison Karamaginas. I have enjoyed working with Madison over the past four years, and she also this last year was president of CARES. She will be attending Iowa State University in the fall and majoring in chemical engineering. The total amount of scholarships that she has earned from Iowa State are $36,000. Madison has also won the Jacob Rigby Environmental Scholarship. This scholarship is for $500 and is awarded by the Rigby family to a student pursuing environmental sciences. This scholarship is in memory of their son, Jacob, who passed away during a hiking trip at Glacial National Park in Montana in 2011. Jacob is a graduate of the University of Illinois in Champaign-Urbana, as well as JHS. 
These two young ladies have done amazing things at Johnsburg High School. It's been my honor to know and work with both of them, and I wish them well. Congratulations to both of you girls. Good evening, Johnsburg High School. My name is Chris O'Neill, and I have the honor of announcing a couple of our award winners from our senior class for tonight. And these are three very outstanding young students, and I'm excited to be able to do that. So first up, I want to announce Autumn Pierce, who will be attending McHenry County College this fall. She will be going into clinical and professional psychology, and her scholarship award amounts to $6,345. Congratulations, Autumn. Next up, another student who will be attending McHenry County College in the fall, Stanley Thill. He will be going into fire science and EMT training. He has won the Ava E. McInnes two-year college scholarship award, totaling $1,000. Congratulations, Stanley. Last but not least, Braden Williams. Braden will be attending Carroll University this fall and going into elementary education. Her total scholarship amount awarded was $67,400. Congratulations to Braden, Stanley, and Autumn, and all of the seniors out there that have shown academic excellence throughout these four years at Johnsburg High School. Hello, this is Miss Davies, and I am here to proudly announce a scholarship for Carissa Clark. Carissa will be attending the University of Cincinnati and studying early childhood education. Her total scholarship from UC is $19,245. Congratulations, Carissa. I am also here to proudly announce a scholarship for Harley St. Clair. Harley will be attending Illinois State University to study special education. The total scholarship amount that she will receive from ISU is $64,995. Harley is also receiving a scholarship from the Eva E. McGinnis Scholarship for a four-year college in the amount of $2,250. Congratulations, Harley. Hola! Me llamo Senora Fowler -y. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jacqueline Fowler and I'm so very proud to present Stephen Pukowski. Although it's bittersweet that his time at JHS on stage and in the classroom has come to an end, he will be continuing come fall at Flashpoint Chicago, studying cinema and directing. He has also earned $40,000 in scholarship from Flashpoint, which is excelente in mi opinion. But anyway, Señor Esteban, tú eres una persona fantástica. Buena suerte con tu futuro! Hi, I'm Mr. Toomey. I'm going to be announcing three students and the scholarships they've been awarded. The first student is Elizabeth Stern. She'll be attending Loyola University in Chicago, majoring in nursing. Elizabeth was awarded $88,000 from Loyola. I'm also pleased to announce she has been awarded the Eva McGinnis Scholarship based off of academic performance for a total value of $2,250. Congratulations, Liz! The next student is Robert Fallon. Robert will be attending Carroll University, majoring in political science and secondary education. Robert was awarded $77,050 based off academic performance. Congratulations on that achievement. Finally, I'm proud to announce that Joseph Comstock has been awarded the Skyhawk Athletic Booster Scholarship worth $500 based off of an essay that was voted on by the JHS Scholarship Committee. Congratulations to the three of you and the entire class of 2020. Hi, I'm Sue Feely, and I get to announce our next honoree, and that is Sheridan Maluski. And Sheridan is going to be going to the University of Central Arkansas, and she is going to be studying exercise science, and the university has given her $24,000 to attend. Nice job, Sheridan. Hi, this is Paul Hanrahan. I'm really honored to present this scholarship for Samantha Natilla. It's been great to get to know her for four years with her positive spirit and really outgoing personality. One of uh, Samantha's favorite memories is when she uh, and her team made it to state, the cross country team made it to state her sophomore year. Samantha will be attending Carroll University in Waukesha, Wisconsin. She'll major in finance and also participate on the cross country and track teams. I'm honored to present this scholarship 
in the total amount of $98,000 from Carroll University to Samantha Natilla. Samantha, congratulations and good luck. I'm Senior Class Advisor Jamie Uthi. It's my honor to present the following awards. To Shannon Flynn, who will be attending Illinois State University, majoring in elementary and special education. She's been awarded the John C. Heidler Memorial Scholarship worth $1,000 and the Daughters of the American Revolution Outstanding Citizenship Award, which is given each year to the senior student who best exemplifies good citizenship. That award is $250. For Caitlin Owen, attending McHenry County College, majoring in criminal justice and playing basketball, her total scholarship amount, $2,676. However, in addition, she has also been awarded the Eva E. McGinnis two-year college scholarship worth $1,000. Michael Grunder, Carthage College, studying business and playing soccer, total scholarship, $78,000. Sarah Metzi, Concordia University in Wisconsin, studying occupational therapy. She's been awarded $74,000 from Concordia, but she's also won the Eva E. McGinnis Scholarship for four-year college, $2,250. Raina Wilkinson, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, studying psychology, $41,635, but she has also won the Eva E. McGinnis Scholarship for four-year college, that is $2,250. Hi, my name is Kelly Vaughn Upsfelder, and it is my honor to introduce the next senior in the scholarships she has been awarded. In the fall, Brianna Elhoff will be attending the University of Wisconsin Whitewater and majoring in elementary education. UW Whitewater has awarded Brie $42,841 in scholarship money. Tonight, Bree is also going to be receiving the Eva E. McInnes Scholarship for $2,250. Congratulations, Bree, and good luck in the fall. Good evening. I'm science teacher and coach Chris Setzler. I'm here tonight to congratulate Samantha Schmidt on her acceptance to Iowa State University's School of Engineering. Go Cyclones! I also want to congratulate Sam on all of the scholarships that she has earned to help her with that education. Sam has earned $42,000 in scholarships from Iowa State University. She's also earned two local scholarships. She earned the Skyhawk Booster Club Scholarship in the sum of $500 based on an article that she wrote about her consecutive day streak in running. Sam maintained a consecutive day streak of running at least one mile a day for over 1,000 days. That streak was broken when Sam became injured. Her reflecting on that streak taught her a lot about tenacity, dedication, and the pursuit of a goal. And those are the same skills that Sam is going to take with her to Iowa State University. Sam also earned the Spiel Lang Communications Scholarship in the sum of $1,000, also based on her writings that she submitted. Congratulations, Sam, for all of your scholarships, and good luck at Iowa State University. I'm here tonight to congratulate Hannah Anderson on her acceptance to the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana. Go Illini! At the U of I, Hannah will major in psychology and cognitive neuroscience. I would also like to congratulate Hannah on earning the State Bank of the Lakes scholarship in the sum of $2,000. This scholarship is based on her character, athletic, academic, and extracurricular achievements. Congratulations, Hannah, and good luck at the U of I. Good evening. I am Mr. Slavchuk, science teacher. I will be announcing two different individuals who are receiving some scholarship money tonight. Camille Alexeta, University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, bioengineering. Total scholarship amount from U of I, $131,847. Catherine Thompson, Milwaukee School of Engineering, computer engineering. Total scholarship amount from MSOE, $56,000. 
Hi, this is John Brzezak, English teacher. Madison Buchanan, University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Elementary education, total scholarship amount from University of Wisconsin, $4,000. Johnsburg Teachers Organization, Marjorie Schweitzer Memorial Scholarship, $1,000. And McHenry County Retired Teachers Association, $1,500. Kevin Schaefer, University of Iowa, Sports and Recreation Management. Total scholarship amount from University of Iowa, $78,376. The Ava E. McInnes, four-year college scholarship, $2,250. Caitlin Wirtz, Illinois State University, elementary education. Total scholarship amount from Illinois State University, $18,000. And James Glosson, Iowa State University, Construction Engineering, total scholarship amount from Iowa State, $56,880. Hi, I'm Dr. Watson. I've had the honor and privilege of working with this young woman both in the classroom and as my student aide, and I'm excited that she is furthering her studies in science. It is with pleasure that I announce Ms. Daniela Schnurr, who will be attending Penn State this fall to study immunology and, and infectious diseases. She has received $24,000 in scholarship money from Penn State. Congratulations, Danny. Good evening. My name is Cheryl Leonardi, and I'm an administrative assistant in the College and Career Resource Center at Johnsburg High School. First, congratulations, class of 2020. I now have the honor of talking about Aaron Fodge. I've known Aaron and his family for many, many years. He has been accepted at Iowa State University, where he has already been awarded a $45,000 scholarship. He is also going to be receiving the Eva E. McGinnis four-year college scholarship in the amount of $2,250. Congratulations, Aaron, and good luck at Iowa State. Hello, I'm Tim Gorski, and I'm the choir director at Johnsburg High School. It's my honor to announce Cole Hansen tonight. Cole will be attending the University of Missouri, majoring in journalism and he has received $66,720 in scholarships. Congratulations, Cole, and I wish you the best of luck. Hello, I am Anna Zeno, and I'm the band director at Johnsburg High School. It is my honor to announce Hannah Diedrich tonight. Hannah Diedrich will be attending Illinois State University this fall, majoring in education. She will also be a participant of the Big Red Marching Machine. Hannah has received $35,000 from Illinois State. Hannah, I am so proud of you and congratulations, and of course, from your fellow alumni, go Redbirds. I'm pleased to announce the scholarship information for two amazing seniors that will be dearly missed next year. Justin Peak will be attending Northern Michigan University majoring in physical education and playing football for the Wildcats. He is receiving a four-year scholarship totaling $70,204. Amanda Frazier will be attending Millican University next fall majoring in biology. She's receiving a four-year scholarship totaling $100,000. Congratulations, guys. So as we wrap up for the evening, I'd like to take a moment to say a huge thank you, not only for myself, but the entire Skyhawk community, to our local scholarship sponsors and those who were able to participate in presenting scholarships tonight. We couldn't do this without you, number one. Number two, I've had the distinct privilege of watching this since I became principal in 2006 watching the, the financial burden being lifted from our students with these local scholarships and them having an opportunity to start the next chapter of their life after high school in a much better place. That doesn't happen without not only in the investment of money that these scholarships provide, but I keep coming back to that investment of time. These scholarships are funded more than likely by people who are putting on events and raising money throughout the year to make sure that these these scholarships can be given. And when you look at the saying behind me, believe there is good in the world, gosh, if there's anything that I've learned in this process as principal is that these people truly exemplify that there is good in the world. And they're actually, when you see the, when you see the gold saying behind me that's highlighted in that phrase, be the good, these people are being the good every day. They are, they are going out, they are servant leaders, they are serving others to the best of their ability, and our students are truly benefiting. So I can't thank you enough, um, but please know how grateful I am for your efforts and how grateful our entire community is as well. And as I wrap up tonight, 
I do have the distinct privilege of always announcing the, the total for the scholarships that were given tonight. And with 60 of our 150 seniors responding to our senior survey given by our CCRC, our final total was $1,939,369. And that is just an absolutely amazing number. It's a lot of commas. It's a lot of excitement. And again, when we talk about uh, everybody's efforts into making this possible. Thank you again to students, to parents, teachers, counselors, everybody who was a part of this story. And for myself, Kevin Shelton, principal here at Johnsburg High School, and our entire staff and administration, I want to thank you uh, for partnering with us on this. And I wish everybody the best as we move on from tonight and to the next chapter. Take care, folks, and thanks again.